Hello everyone, welcome back to my monthly vlog. Here we're just out for our weekly grocery shopping and we're heading back home. Good morning guys. Today I just wanted to show you how my skin is doing. So can you see how this bit of skin is like crap? So yesterday it got really itchy and I was like rubbing it and it cracked. I woke up like this and I had it a lot worse before so not freaking out or anything but so usually in a day it would probably form that flaky layer and then a day later it the flakes fall off and enter the clear skin phase and i just wanted to also show you sorry about the mess i've got a messy room at the moment i just wanted to show you my legs um because they've been doing so great so the color of my skin is nearly back to my normal skin tone it used to be really really red because my lymph nodes were swollen and that's what happens when your lymph nodes are inflamed i guess like swollen it gets really red and i'll show you i'll put a picture up um to show you guys and also before starting the no moisture treatment i would get such weepy legs even without scratching um especially below my knees so they would both be like wet, like covered in the liquid. They're actually white cells from the blood cells, which is called plasma. So it's your plasma leaking from your blood cells. Because um, I had a lot of that plasma le leaking out of my blood cells, it went all the way down to my ankle and because of gravity and it just stayed there which led to that was called edema i think it was so i had to go and see a gp and he didn't know that i was going through tsw because i didn't say anything because i knew that doctors didn't really have a positive mindset about tsw so i didn't really bother telling him and so he just thought that it was like infected and so he gave me antibiotics but i thought i'd check with my nutritionist first before i take the anti that before i take the antibiotics because i've been trying so hard to sorry i just noticed that you guys were looking at my legs while i was talking the whole time so um um so i went to the gp and he gave me antibiotics but I asked my nutritionist first because like for months and months, I was uh, putting so much effort in building my good bacteria in my gut and reducing the bad bacteria um, with food and supplements. So by taking antibiotics, it just like kills all the good and bad bacteria. So I didn't want that. Like I put in so much effort to build it up. I didn't want to take it if I didn't need to and obviously if it is really like an infection um, it it's so important to take it so I understand that um, I think medicine is important like when it's necessary so if you are going through something like that and, and they give you antibiotics just be careful that you're um, not actually going through an infection because you want to take that antibiotic if you are um, before it spreads anywhere um, but for me um, I was pretty certain that I didn't have an infection and I told my nutritionist about what was happening and how it felt like and all the symptoms that I was experiencing and she said oh that sounds like edema which is when your plasma leaks and it gets stuck at the ankle and unlike your blood where your heart pumps it like it has the pump for it to go around your body the plasma doesn't have that so what it does is that when you move your body 
like when you move your muscles especially your calves it acts as a pump and it pumps the plasma back up it was so painful and i remember that morning oh my boyfriend was away for work and i had uni that day so <clears throat> and it was actually my first day of uni and and i really wanted to go but i could barely walk like if i stood up it would just like the pain was insane but i had to go to the gp because i needed i needed to get a medical certificate for the, for class for missing class so the gp is just like what like 3 minutes no maybe like a no 3 minute walk from my house but it literally took me like 10 minutes to get there and i was limping so bad <laughs> people would like look at me and i'd be so embarrassed but um i got there and then i got my medical certificate but then i also needed to collect a parcel because um the following day was uh, my lab day for uni so my first lab day so i had to get my lab coat and my uh, safety glasses it said you can't enter the lab room without it so like you really needed to get it before you show up so i was desperate to get that before the next day and somehow i thought my legs will be better by then and I'd be able to show up to uni. So I ended up going all the way to the next suburb to collect my parcels. And oh my gosh, it was, oh yeah, it was pouring rain at the time as well, which didn't help. There was like puddles everywhere and I couldn't avoid them because my legs were just like not working and i would have to like step into the puddles and i was wearing flip-flops because i couldn't fit any other shoes on them because they were so swollen so i was wearing flip-flops and they would just like sink into the puddle and it was like the worst um but yeah i ended up calling uber to go to the post office and then oh my god that post office had this massive stairs and i had to take my time to go up the stairs and it was pouring and then i took an uber home and that honestly took me over an hour and usually it would just take me like 20 minutes or something but then i <clears throat> the next day i woke up and it was even worse my legs were just like, so painful and i and i did i was like i'm i can't go to uni like this and so i had to go and get a medical certificate again how stupid of me i should have just gotten two days worth of medical certificates the day before but it just didn't cross my mind i felt so stupid i had to go limp to the gp again oh and so I went to the GP just to get a medical certificate. So my ankle started to get better after like a week or maybe even a week and a half, maybe two weeks. And so it slowly went back to normal, but my legs were still swollen from, yeah, I think that from that day, um, my calves were so swollen and weepy but that's all fine now this it was this ankle oh, sorry. it was this ankle here anyways so after that i started doing no much treatment and then my face got really flaky <clears throat> and also when I was doing uni work, I was like so stressed and the stress caused me to like get really, really itchy. So I decided to defer uni and that's why I'm not studying at the moment, which I think was the right thing to do because I just want to focus on healing my body first. 
<clears throat> before I do anything. So I'm pretty keen to start uni next year and I know that my skin will be a lot better then. Okay, I'm gonna go and do my workout. I need to run a few errands today. So I'm gonna be wearing a cute outfit. I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna be back to show you my outfit. I'm so excited. So our TV broke and it wasn't even old so we went in store and got an exchange. They didn't have the model we had so we upgraded a little bit and got a bigger screen and better features. This morning we're headed to the city to buy a red light panel from a guy. We're actually getting it for second hand um, but I always wanted a red light panel for the red light therapy and my boyfriend found it for a couple hundred dollars cheaper as a second hand so we're getting that. Okay so this morning I went and got a red light panel for the red light therapy. I'll show you how it looks like. This is it. It's pretty big. It's nearly as tall as me. So it's a full body panel. And it's from Infrared. I'm really excited to use it. Um, red light therapy has lots of health benefits and I'll get through in more detail in another video, but just wanted to show you guys how it looked like. And I'm so excited to use it. I'm just, I just need to get some goggles for it because I got this for second hand. This was such a bargain. I got it for a couple hundred dollars off and it's in really good condition so i'm really happy with that but i need to, i just need to get some goggles for it to protect my eyes during therapy so once i get that i will try it on myself and let you guys know how it goes That afternoon we went to the shops because my boyfriend's brother needed a pair of glasses. <laughs> Hello guys, this is so exciting. I got featured on 7 News Australia. I did an interview with them a couple of weeks ago and the article is live. So I'll link the article down below so you guys can read that. And yeah, this is so exciting and I was just thinking TSW is not an easy ride but the opportunities that came with it is so incredible and it's been surreal. So there are heaps of positive things within this journey so remember that. It is Saturday and we're off to see a movie. We're going to see Doctor Strange because my boyfriend's brother's a massive Marvels fan it's so nice to be out and about because I'm stuck all day and I'm so thankful for face masks. After the movie, we did some shopping and I ended up getting the white puffer jacket from Target. That's it for now. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.